Magic with Peels. I'm Neeta Ganguly. I'm trying something new. I call it Actory. It's activity comes story. This one is on bioenzyme. You can read or listen to the story and make the bioenzyme at home with your children to motivate them to be eco-responsible. Before you begin to listen or read the story, you may like to get few things ready so that as the story unrolls, you can do the activity too. You will require an airtight plastic bottle, a marker pen, water, jaggery that is good and peels. I love to experiment with all kinds of fruits and vegetable peels, even flower petals. Normally people go for citrus peels for the lovely fragrance. You can take your own pick. Let's begin. Magic with peels. Mommy, it's breaking, cried Joy. Never mind, dear. We have to anyway tear them into small pieces. Enjoy the fresh oranges and don't forget to keep the seeds aside in that smaller bowl, instructed the mother as she carefully peeled her orange in one long piece. Oh no! Are we going to end up in their dirty waste bin? asked Clementine Peel, upset to see little pieces of herself scattered on the table. I don't think so. You see the two bowls? There has to be a good reason why she is collecting us in one and separating the seeds in the other, replied Mandarin Peel. Oh, seeds! I'm sure she will sow them in her garden, but we will be trashed, responded Miss C, not convinced with her friend's assurance. Nope, she seems to be a responsible person to me, replied Mandarin, not giving up hope. Sure enough, as predicted by Miss Clementine, Mother picked out every seed from the small bowl. As she rose from her chair, she said, Joy, while I go and sow the seeds in the flower pot, you, in the meantime, tear the bigger orange peels into smaller pieces. Lucky seeds! See, I told you, they get a second chance to live and we will be dumped, sulked Clementine. I'm quite sure. She has a plan for us. Tell me, why would she ask her child to do the extra task of tearing if she wants to dump us? Miss M triple A quoted. Let's wait and see what happens, was the hopeful response by Mandarin. Joy sniffed and stretched out both the hands. Mmm, smell my fingers, Mom. It's awesome. Yay, tangy. I love it. And well done with the tearing, too. Mother smiled as she came closer. She picked up the bowl with the peels and asked Joy to follow her. In the kitchen, Mother placed the bowl on a tray, which already had a few other items from before. Hey, what do we have here? Mom, are we doing a project with these peels? Inquired Joy. With a twinkle in her eyes, Mother echoed it. Magic with peels. That's what we are going to do today. Miss M, you're right. She does have a plan. Magic with us? Using plastic bottle, pen, Water and, and what's that brown thing in the bowl? Miss C curiously examined all the items. Taking a closer look, Mandarin replied, Looks like jaggery to me. You know, it's a brown raw mass made from sugar cane. Magic with beans? That sounds interesting. Okay, let's get started. 
said Joy, excited with the new venture. Mother explained. The required ratio to be taken for all the three ingredients is 10 is to 1 is to 3. That is, to 10 parts of water, one part of jaggery and three parts of peels is to be added. The technique she follows does not require weighing the ingredients. Leaving some space on top, she uses the marker pen to divide the plastic bottle into 10 equal parts. All the 10 parts together represents 100% by volume. To make the magic potion with water, jaggery and peels, she uses the 6th, 7th and 8th level marks. That represents 60, 70 and 80 percentage respectively. I follow the 60, 70, 80 step for 90 days to make my magic potion, she said as she finished marking the container. Mother continued to explain that water is the first thing to be poured into the plastic bottle. She asked Joy to keep a watchful eye and to warn her once the water level reaches the mark 6 marked on the bottle. It represents 60%. Stop! It's at 60, Mom! alerted Joy. Great! Now let's add the second thing, Mother said. It's jaggery, right? Joy took a guess. Dot on! Come, help me put these jaggery pieces into the bottle, Mother guided as she broke the bigger chunks. Also, keep your eye on the next level, she added. Mom, I think we need to add little more jaggery. The water level has not yet reached 70 level mark, replied Joy, keeping a hawk's eye. Once done, Mother capped the bottle and shook it vigorously until the jaggery dissolved completely in water. Shake, 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 shake. Before Mother could give the next instruction, Joy pitched in. I know, I know what goes next. It's the orange peas and we keep adding till the water level rises to the 80 mark, right? Aren't you the clever one? smiled Mother. Is the magic potion ready? asked Joy. Not really. When you see these peels floating on top, sink to the bottom of the bottle, then it will be ready. Mother continued to explain. Usually it takes 90 days, but by adding few granules of baking dry yeast, one can speed up the process to complete in a month's time. Next day onwards. Mother explained that the first 30 days are very crucial as the peels ferment in the jaggery water and produce lots of gas. These needs to be released minimum once a day without fail. Of course, with time it reduces. That is why only airtight plastic bottles or containers are used which do not react with the solution nor crack or break under pressure. Mother, with her firm control hand, very slowly uncapped the bottle to release the gas and said, You can hear the sound of the gas gushing out. Be very careful and don't rush. Happens more in soda bottles. Wow! Look at the bubbles! Joy was thrilled to see the liquid foam over. The peels were happy and content in their new environment, which, thankfully, did not sting. Yummy! I love the taste of the sweet syrup we are in. Miss M, do you notice, even after all these days, we still have our tangy fragrance, revealed Clementine. Looks like we have all settled down at the bottom of the bottle. I think... We are ready to show our magical power, remarked Mandarin, wondering what's next. By now they had several bottles of magic potion on the kitchen shelf as it became a ritual in the house not to waste the kitchen peels. Mommy, what's magical about them? 
Joy asked. Magical? Because one solution has multi-purpose benefits. They are also known as bioenzyme or garbage enzyme and are used to clean surfaces, fertilize soil, remove stains and odor, unclog drains, purify, disinfect, neutralize microbes, toxins, pollutants and many more functions all done naturally mother pointed out it is a cleaner and healthier way to handle unused kitchen peels which otherwise are thrown away as waste i totally agree in the dirty waste bins the bad microbes make us rot stink and pollute the environment yuck miss c pointed out miss m voiced with conviction true but in this new sweet world, we meet the good microbes who not only give us a second chance to live, but also gifts us with magical power to keep the environment clean and green. Wouldn't it be lovely if we all start to handle and manage our wet kitchen waste at home? Just follow five simple and doable steps every day. Share extra food with somebody. Feed the leftovers from your plate. To an animal, make bioenzymes from peels, bank on seeds, and compost the rest in holy bins. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Stay safe. Jai Hind.